Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net, and I'm here with part three of uh, our synth exploration using Pulsar. Uh, last time we were creating this, this wonderful little synth patch, which sounds like this. And it's processed through Thor. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention just in, in closing up this, this specific patch is that when you use the pitch bend, it's not going to do anything because uh, you're processing it through Thor, but Thor is empty. There's no oscillators here, so that's why you're not getting any pitch bend. Um, so what you can do is you can go in here, go into the mod matrix, uh, select pitch bend, uh, raise this to 52 for the amount. The destination is gonna be CV output one. Then you're gonna include another amount that goes up to 52 once again and then send to destination 2 which is going to be CV output 2 uh, so the pitch band is going to CV1 and CV2 output now flip it around send CV1 to your rate on LFO1 on Pulsar send CV2 out to the rate on the LFO2 flip it back around and now you are actually traveling up and down an octave so if I play C Okay, so that's how you get the uh, the rates to change. You're basically raising and lowering the octave uh, for these oscillators. Um, so you've got your pitch bend. That's all set up. Now you want to add some uh, vibrato to the mod wheel. So we can do that by selecting LFO2. Send that to about, let's say, 20. That's going to go to CV output 1. And then another 20 to CV output 2, only this time you're going to scale that with the mod wheel. Perfect. Okay, and also now let's just take the LFO2, let's change this to a square wave, and let's increase the rate a little bit to about 9.5 hertz. And now when you play it with the wheel, instant vibrato okay so great got that settled now let's delete this delete the devices and tracks delete all of them I'm gonna start off with something brand new so let's go into the utilities create a combinator I'm gonna go a little fast here um, let's go under here let's create under the utilities we're gonna create a line mixer then underneath that we're gonna create a pulsar we're going to turn on the rate for LFO2, turn off tempo sync, boost the rates up all the way, uh, increase the level to about 60 for both of these. Okay, now let's underneath that we're going to create our Thor open up Thor, we're going to turn off the oscillator because we're going to be using Pulsar for that. We're going to bypass this, we're going to turn that off. Um, now same trick, we're going to take, um, let's see, audio input 1 and audio input 2. We're going to send the amounts 100% and that's going to go into filter 1 audio input. Same thing over here, filter 1 audio input. Over here we're going to use the same trick. We're going to take filter 1, filter 1, send that 100% into filter 3 left in and filter 3 right in. And we're going to boost this to 100. We're going to scale that by the amp envelope. And we're also going to scale that by the MIDI key velocity. Okay, so there's our basic setup again. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to flip this around. We're going to send the audio from 1 into audio input 1, LFO 2 into audio input 2. The output's going to go back to our mixer, and our mixer is going into the combinator. Perfect. Flip it around. Let's take both.
both of these devices. So I'm selecting both Thor. Am I selecting both? Yeah. Okay. So I'm selecting Thor and I'm selecting the LFO or Pulsar. I'm going to right click. I'm going to duplicate the devices and tracks. Okay. So I've got a duplicate underneath here. Flip this around. I don't need audio two. Uh, let's see. Let's flip this around again. Let's turn the LFO two off. So now we've only got LFO one going. I'm going to make sure that this is a sawtooth wave. Same thing here. I'm going to make sure these are both sawtooth waves. So what I'm setting is, what I'm setting up here is I'm setting up three different LFOs to act as three different oscillators. So good enough. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to, oh, wait, one other thing. Almost forgot. Okay. The input's going in here. Now take the audio output from Thor and send it back up to the left and right of the mixer. And also just for good measure, let's take another input and put that into audio input two. So you've got both of these going in. Okay, good enough. Now what I want to do, since we know we can change the pitch um, by either using the pitch bend wheel or any other parameter, we're going to actually detune all of these oscillators. So this third oscillator down here from LFO1 on our second Pulsar device is going to be playing at the, the middle range or the middle octave, and then I'm going to detune LFO1 up one octave and LFO2 down one octave. So in order to do that, let's go into our mod matrix. Let's select rotary one. Remember, 52 is the magic number for an octave. So let's bend um, oscillator one or LFO1 upward an octave, and then we're going to send oscillator 2 down an octave and you're going to use CV output 2 for these. Okay, now let's flip around to the back. Let's take CV1 out. Let's send that into the rate input on LFO1. Let's take CV output 2, send that into the rate input on LFO2. And now if we flip around and we start to play this plays way too high. So let's go down a few octaves. Oh, right. Almost forgot. Keyboard follow. Very important. Turn that up to 100 for both of these Pulsar devices. And now when you play it, it's still not playing properly. Why is it still not playing properly? Um, could it be because... Oh, what am I doing wrong? Rates are right. Because rotary one is not turned all the way up. sense because we're telling rotary one to go CV out one, CV out two. Okay, so rotary one has to be turned all the way up. And this will just change to show that it's our pitch up and down. Perfect. Okay, now let's open up the programmer. The other thing we have to do is take Pulsar one have that received notes, take Pulsar 2, have that received notes, and now when we play it, okay, kind of a nice little bassy patch, and it's also polyphonic, which is kind of nice, even though it's way, way too loud, so let's just change the levels, pull those down a little, You can also shape it with the amp envelope, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, 
Okay, so the other thing we can do is we can actually take this mod envelope over there, and let's take, let's do about 37, and send that to, yes, CV output 1. Take this to be 37, send that to CV output 2. And same thing down here. Let's take our mod envelope. 37. And that's going to go CV output 1. Did we set up our CV? No, we didn't. Okay, so let's set up our CV output to go to the rate. And now you should hear something close to a Hoover patch. <laughs> probably reduce the level a little bit more down to about 46 and it's still pumping out a little too loud but I think you get the idea so that's that's our Hoover patch um, using pulsar and then you can shape it with the mon envelope too low okay the other thing you can do is you can actually use the shuffle feature a little bit so let's turn that up let's turn the shuffle on this I'm just doing this very quickly so just forgive it if it's not like you know the ultimate Hoover patch <laughs> So you kind of get the idea. So you can play around with those. You've got some detuned oscillators there. And that's the way to create some detuned oscillators with, um, with Pulsar. Hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial. Again, I'm Rob, and you can come visit me at reason101.net. And uh, I will have some more tutorials for you when I have some more time. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, hope you guys have a great 4th of July.